speaking of uh, bands that you have toured with, I was curious yeah. to ask you about some of those groups. So you guys toured with White White Snake on two different occasions, correct? Right. Well, what happened was that our our very first tour. I mean, and you got to realize we're coming out of like clubs. We used to play parties, you yeah. know. Um, the occasional hall, you know, mm-hmm. and, and, and just local around Southern California. So now we're going into an arena setting with White Snake, you know, Huge. and it, it was pretty awesome. And, uh, the first tour was in the UK and the keyboard player at that time was John Lord from Deep Purple, who, uh, I mean, Deep Purple are like gods to me, you know, like, I would roll out of bed and go to school and put on Highway Star like every day. Yeah, you know I mean? that was the, that was the soundtrack to your life. <laughs> yeah, absolutely. It it was you know that would be like now having a cup of coffee in the morning. You know, just right. energizes <laughs> you. You know, and uh, so we kind of tortured him a little bit, but he was happy to tell us stories. We'd sit up like kids, you know, in these little hotel bars, which we're like hand carved bars and wow. it, you know, it's Europe. It, we're staying in these like castle type hotels and stuff. And he'd sit there and tell us deep purple stories. And God, it was a great experience. Anyways, it was a completely different band than what we toured with later in the eighties. But, um, just, just a great experience, you know, um, little nerve wracking. I mean, you know, playing arenas and stuff. But a uh, great band. They had Cozy Pal playing drums. Great drummer. Mm. Um, yeah, so that that was great. We played, you know, like uh, Belfast, you know. Wow. And and, and uh, it was funny because the hotel we stayed at in Belfast was bombed thirteen times, but hadn't been bombed in a year. Oh, there you go. <laughs> you so know? it was safe enough. <laughs> <laughs> No, so it's due, right? Holy but, uh, shit. That, that was crazy, man. And, and uh, Def Leppard, a couple guys from Def Leppard came to our show. Nice. So that was pretty neat, you know, because it was early in their career, too. But right. I, uh, they, were, they were living in Ireland for tax reasons, I guess, mm. you know, in, in London, England, or whatever. Uh, the taxes were real high. Yeah. So they were there, they were there for tax reasons and living there but they came backstage a couple of they had a singer and drummer so that was really neat but anyway so then we did that for about th- i think three and a half months and we we're looking for a tour in the states and it ended up touring with judas priest wow you know so that that was really i mean it almost gave me a heart attack we went to the arena in niagara falls New York, and they were recording a video at the place we were going to play with them opening the following night, and they were recording a, a video for MTV from a, a song called Love Bites. Nice. He comes down in this huge claw. <laughs> I mean, it, it was like Godzilla, this stage, <laughs> and I'm going, we're going to set up our amps and stuff in front of this stuff. It, oh my it, god it, was, it must have been it was surreal it was surreal dude i drank like eight beers before the show <laughs> just, i mean i was so it, you know i mean but we did one good thing is we came off that white snake tour so we had played for a lot of people you know mm. like wembley arena twenty thousand people you had so, a good warm-up um, yeah yeah a little bit of warm-up so but it was still that this just their stage uh, plot and everything was so enormous. It was, but they really treated us great. You know, um, uh, the Brotherhood was just from day one. They were they took us under their wing. You know, they yeah. were just they knew we were kind of green. So you yeah. know, they, that's they good were, though when they're welcoming, right? Because I've heard a lot oh, of bands can can be the opposite to an opener. That they wanted us to do well. Did you guys also tour with Kiss at one point? Yeah, that yeah, was the Reven- Revenge tour, correct? Um, yeah, it was around '93. Um, 
they weren't wearing makeup or nothing. Uh, it was funny because their crew, they, I guess they had a song where they wanted this girl like in a cage right. dancing. <laughs> yeah. One chick, right? But they would send the crew to all the strip clubs in, in the areas, you know, whatever, the, you know, Chicago, wherever we were. And they would come back and the one that Paul and Jean would pick, the big winner would get in the cage during <laughs> this song. That would leave 17 girls backstage. Not bad. For us, for us to be acquainted with. <laughs> Sounds like a good tour. So, I don't know kiss yeah, or openers, great, but... Uh... Great tour. <laughs> great tour. It was a great tour. 